Alright, hello world, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to start a new project and it's called um, Uno, uh, Uno Socket Game. So basically if you haven't heard of Uno before, um, I will link a Wikipedia article in the description down below to describe what, what is Uno. It's basically a really simple card game. Or you have like a different card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, different color, red, green, yellow, and blue. You can either go to like when the card are the same number um, or same color. And, you know, there's also like different punishment, like you can add card reverse turns. Whoever is the end or whoever, uh, like, uh, not whoever is the end, whoever, you know, get rid of uh, their card first one. When basically that's how the game goes, and eventually gonna make it into a socket format, so that uh, different client from different uh, different client can all access our little game. All right, but for now we're gonna develop it locally. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to do this really quick. So let's do this. Um, what do I want to say? Um, let's search our Uno cards. Um, and we can take a look here on oh, the card. Oh, not shopping, just image. Yeah, you can see these are different set of card that a player has. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think this has it. Yeah, so this is basically all the card we have. So you can see that we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, nine, all different numbers. Um, and then we also have the stop, means that you skip a turn to the next per player. These are add card, you add card to the next player. These are reverse turns. These are wild cards, so you can basically reassigning a value, and these wild cards can be used at any time. I think the same thing goes for these plus four wild cards. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. And I think the best way to get started is let's actually let's just create. Uh, I created a main.py already, uh, and in here we're just gonna call it class cards. Right, so that's gonna have all the information we want to have it. Um, so in here, we want to say def init, and we're going to take in color number, and we'll say special ability, right? And uh, by the way, I'm using GitHub Copilot. Uh, I think I said it uh, in a lot of videos now. Basically, it helped me to auto complete some sort of code. Um, all right, so let's see. Basically, we're going to create a card that's going to initialize it, right, like this. And, um, and let's see. Okay. So, yeah, so that's going to be that. And um, I think that's really all we need to it. So that gonna be that. We don't need so stir gonna be basically how gonna print it out. And basically, want to say all of all cards, and we're gonna do this. Um, basically, want to create all the available card. Right, so let's just say def create all cards, all right. and it's basically gonna return an array. So in here, let's say deck, and they're gonna say for i in range of four, or we can say for underscore in range of four. Yes, it's automatically doing something now. Um, Ooh, look, it kind of knows what I'm trying to do here. 
red, green, blue, um, for special ability. I'm not sure if that's how I wanted. So there are plus two. And special ability going to be none. By default. So let's see. Um, plus two, we we'll also have plus four. Yeah, for now, I'm not going to worry about any special abilities. Right, that's going to basically give us all the card. And then, um, so that's that. And then we can create ooh, all the turns, right? So I also need to say. For special ability in plus two and a plus four. And so it's it's also gonna be just a simple comment line based little game. Um so color it's also gonna be equals to none by default. Well color we can say equals black if it really doesn't have any color. Black number equals zero if it doesn't really have any number. Uh, special ability is whatever special ability is. There goes that card. Um, oh shoot, no, I forgot. This does have color. All right, color, e color. Uh, okay, I messed it up, color. And special ability equals special ability. So it doesn't have plus four. Plus four is wild card. All right, perfect. So then we can also say deck dot append. I feel like I literally recording what I'm saying. I mean, it is recording, but um, okay. So two wild card. Right, number, don't worry about that, that's zero by default. Color, don't worry about that. Uh, special effect, we're gonna say plus four twice. And then we can say everything. So we can use it at every places. All right, so that's that. Um, Probably also want to define a player, right? Um, that can uh, oh, sorry, not define a player, class player. So I also want to have a player, and we can do it in it again. And in this case, I want to have self, and have name, and have cards as they have, um, stuff like that. Yeah, so I think by default we'll just let the computer randomly generate some cards. Um, all right. So let's do this. Let's see. Um, yeah, self the name equals name, and self dot cards. All right. Uh, we will create a new line that's. Going to oh yeah we need to return it. All right, so that's gonna be like a we're gonna put it in a helpers because this is not that important. No, it is important, but I don't care for me. Import card. All right, our helpers import create all card. All right, perfect. So then in here, I can just say, oh, what do I want to say? So let's see how much, how many cards are there? So 10, 52 card. So we're gonna, we're gonna force it to be four players so they can split evenly. We're gonna force it to be four players. Um, not, not really a good design because we don't can play for anybody, but any amount of people for now, I'm just gonna assume it's four player. All right, I assume it's four player. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna say def 
Ah, I was just going to say that. And now I can say generate card for player. Or players. Right? Um, so then in here, what we want to do is we want to say cards.random. Um, okay, so I want to shuffle the everything in the list, basically. Let's search it up. How can we do that? Shuffle elements in the list. Okay, so it does exist. Shuffle. All right, perfect. So in here, we can say import random. All right, and then we can say random dot. Wait for it to load first. Um, keep pressing me to create interpreter. I will create interpreter for you. No, stop. Now I think to be honest, we should just use a default pass. Oh my god, what happened? All right. Then here we can say Cart equals random dot shuffle dot create all cards. Right? So then in here we can say return cards bracket zero colon thirteen bracket thirteen. That's right. So basically, it's going to be four players, right? All generated evenly. Um, all right. And then we can assign them to players, right? So each player object going to have a series of cards. Let's say you're going to have. So let's go ahead and take a look. How would this work? So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to say. Uh, a, B, C, D. That's going to be our generate car. And then we'll create uh, player 1. Player A equals player A. Player B. Player C. Player D. Yeah. And in here we can say let's print out player A dot card. Print out player B underscore b dot cards from player c and print out player d and then once we're ready i guess we can run main dot pi just to see how it works all right looks like we can't import create all cards for some reason cannot import name create all card. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm I'm not sure what's happening here. Exists. Everything looks good to me. Yeah, from helper simple Creole card.
Is that like a circular import or something? I don't think so. Alright, fine. Here's what I would do. I will create a... I'm already a car file for the card class. Right? And then for the... I may as well just create a new class for player 2. Uh, I will wait for it to load. So that's pretty much all we're gonna do for the end of this video. Just gonna get the game set up. Now I'm still gonna keep the main project going, of course. So the movie app. We'll get back to it in the next video. But for now, I just wanna, you know, make stuff up. Okay, this file create. Participant need to get faster. There you go. Alright. Alright, gonna say from card or card from player for player. Alright, now you can't blame me anymore. Can you? Um right. we're not gonna import card from in, we're gonna say from card. Import card. All right, let's see. Non-time object is not subscriptable. That is so weird. I don't know how to make this. It's my mistake. Non-type object is not subscriptable. Did not return. Okay, it's in place shuffle. All right. Plan B would do it this way. Cause I'm 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 kind of thinking is it in place shuffle? Yeah, it looks like this. In place just means it doesn't return new list. It just do it in place. Okay, that's not helpful to me for me to read it. But um, I think let's uh, let's take a look. So I think we have wrapper method. Right, and that's gonna be really the same thing. However, I wanna do soft number. I wonder if I can say this. Okay, so we're gonna say softa number, softa color, yeah, we'll definitely fix that, so that when it get print out, it actually print out using different colors, that's the best we can do for it. If we actually organize it, but I'll just make sure it has three. Shouldn't have duplicates, so I'm not worried about duplicates right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nice. So we have thirteen card. Um. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else we can think we can do today in this video. I think we pretty much have a uh, have a great setup. So I think how we're gonna do is gonna adding on to different cards and player classes, and we are also going to we're also going to start you know maybe actually start make the game playing in the next video. Where we're gonna work? I think we're gonna work on movie app for the, in the next video, and then we're gonna work on this Uno app again. We know a little project but yeah thank you all, all for watching this video if you have any questions comments feel free to comment down below but uh, as always stay safe and have a great rest of your day i will see you next week or in the next video all right that was me out